Now, as we all know, the Detroit Pistons are not just an NBA team that plays basketball at Little Caesars Arena right there in Detroit. The Detroit Pistons are a community asset. When Tom Gorse took over the Pistons franchise, he set a tone to be impactful, both on and off the basketball court. And from day one, we've been steadfast in executing on his vision to make a real difference in the community. Now, with the franchise's move back to Detroit, his vision is even more crystallized. And the organization's passion to make a difference has only strengthened as we are constantly looking for new ways to build on our current projects and increase our impact in the community. This new court is a perfect ex example of just that. Take a look around. How about a round of applause? Just look around and look where we are right now. What a beautiful court. Now I'd like to introduce a few distinguished guests who are here to help us open this brand new court and to share details on the continued six-year court refurbishment projects. Now first I'll say their names on stage with me. Please welcome De Detroit Pistons Vice Chairman Arn Tellum. <laughs> City of Detroit General Manager for Neighborhoods Ray Solomon. <laughs> City Council Member Roy McAllister. And I believe Detroit um, mural artist who beautifully painted this court, Jesse Castle. Is Jesse here? Is Jesse here? There he is right there. Jesse, where are you at? I want to. There you are. Welcome. Now, this amazing, beautiful mural does not come to life without the support and partnership of the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation. And we'd like to send a special thank you to Dave Egner and his team. And I know um, Alicia Jeffries, if you look at this monitor to my right, that's what the mural looks like if you look from up top, and that's an absolute beautiful mural. Um, our collaboration was critical uh, with Dave Egner and his team for the completion of this beautiful, beautiful course. So more, one more round of applause, please, for Dave and his team. I'd also like to welcome members of the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan wheelchair basketball team in the building right up front. They've already christened the court with a few baskets over there. If you can shoot, in this win, I know you can shoot. Uh, with us, we also have Pistons legend Earl Curitan, right in front, and the baddest of the bad boys, Mr. Rick Mahorn. <laughs> and also a special welcome to um, all the other members of the media and the community who have joined us for this awesome event. Now, with those introductions completed, let's get to today's announcement and the opening of this court. Let's hear from our leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, an individual representing Pistons owner Tom Gores, who has been a catalyst for the club's move and continued presence in the city of Detroit. Please welcome Detroit Pistons Vice Chairman, Mr. Arn Tellum. We're, we're allowed to wear overcoats today. And I'm, I'm proud to announce this is our last outdoor event of the year. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Uh, I'm pleased to be here with all of you today at Palmer Park and announce the completion of phase two of our basketball court refurbishments in the city of Detroit. We're also pleased to be standing on the first of two mural courts that are being completed in partnership with the Ralph Wilson Jr. Foundation. I want to convey special thank yous to Mayor Duggan, City Council Member Roy McAllister, City of Detroit General Manager Neighborhoods Ray Solomon, uh, my good friend Dave Egner, who's not here today, from the Ralph Wilson Foundation, and mural artist Jesse Castle. Thank you, Jesse. We, we appreciate so much your partnership in this project. I'm honored here today to be here today on behalf of Pistons owner Tom Gores our Pistons players, and the entire organization. Tom believes, as Aaron said, that a sports franchise is a community asset with the power to unite and inspire people. Further, that we can create partnerships that will bring about positive change to our community. This court refurbishment project will help beautify neighborhood parks, provide safe and inspiring places to play basketball, and at the same time, hopefully, create a new generation of Pistons fans. When we were working on the move 
to bring the team downtown in 2017, Mayor Duggan told me that the city had 60 basketball courts in need of repair. Together, we came up with a solution, agreed to invest $2.5 million to fix these courts, just like the one you see here today. We are also pleased today to announce our sponsorship, and I love the, the sweatshirts, I love them, <laughs> of the Rehabilitation Institute's wheelchair basketball team. Uh, they are here today, and we look forward to watching them play after the event. All of us at the Pistons feel this court refurbishment program provides the opportunity to revive Detroit's historic neighborhood parks and provide programming for residents and youth. So renovating 60 courts over the next six years, really it's over the next four years because we've already begun, it's not where our commitment ends, it's just the beginning. On this project, we are particularly pleased to have teamed up with the Ralph Wilson Foundation to provide a mural court painted by local Detroit mural artist, Jesse Castle, who, who we've identified before, who's here, and we so appreciate his work. And uh, this is a great opportunity for us to showcase local artists and get Detroiters involved with the project and create a court that will become a destination for residents throughout the city to come and experience. Dave Egner and the entire team at the Ralph Wilson Foundation have been great partners in mural courts here and at Tolan Playfield. We're so excited about our partnership with the Wilson Foundation, and I'm confident that we'll even do more going forward. With our Basketball for All community initiative, our vision is to bring others in the community, both corporate and philanthropic partners, to join us in revitalizing the parks in every neighborhood and bringing them all to life. This summer, we completed our first Pistons Neighbors program on refurbished courts at Bennett and Rouge Parks, where we hosted programming one day a week at each court. We hope to take that program to other parks and extend its reach this summer. It's not enough just to refurbish the parks, we've got to bring them to life and really get the community involved and make great use of them. In that effort, I want to thank our Basketball for All corporate partners, DT Energy, Delta Dental, Flagstar, Nike, Detroit Diesel, AAA, Kroger, and Penske. We need your great support to help program these courts and impact our youth. We are also excited to have representatives from AT&T here today, and we look forward to working with you on projects in the future. We have now completed 23 courts in 14 parks over the last two years. Our work does not stop here, and we look forward to the, to the other courts slated to be refurbished in the summer of 2020. There, I will be there for the opening. <laughs> Thank you for being here, everyone. We really appreciate you coming out. We hope everyone enjoys the opening of today's new basketball court. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thanks for your, your continued leadership. It's fun to be on this, this impact ride with you. Our next speaker has been a valuable partner on the courts project and remains focused on each neighborhood in this city as Detroit continues its resurgence. Please welcome City of Detroit General Manager for Neighborhoods, Ray Solomon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, the mayor couldn't be here today. Um, I am honored to be here, but 23 parks. I mean, just, just a round of applause for the Pistons and the organization. This is a partnership between the Pistons government and the neighborhoods. Um, so I wasn't the best player. I didn't want to say that in front of <laughs> these guys. I wasn't the best player, but uh, on a court like this, it taught me how to win some. It taught me how to lose some. It taught me partnership, and we made friendships for life. But that one day, I'll never forget why I could not miss a shot right <laughs> so 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 that was it that was me building my confidence and getting my courage up and uh i'm 44 i was probably 14 then <laughs> like i have not forgotten that but um you know we build partnerships and friendships for life and um coming into the city and bringing resources like this is just uh amazing so uh councilman has been there on, on the side uh, and i want to uh kim kim tandy want to wave she is the district manager for the area um Absolutely, absolutely. 
and um, and the mayor worked tireless uh, with this team that is up here now. So I just want to say, man, thank, thank you for what you're doing, and um, let's keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. I'm pleased to introduce our next speaker, who does great work in our city each and every day. He's a great representative of our region. Please welcome Detroit City Council member, Roy McAllister. Thank you there, Mrs. Smith, and uh, thank you so much. I always like to give honor to God who's ahead of my life for not allowing us uh, to be out here just, just for this event, but for all events. And I just have to thank, uh, you know, the Mayor, Mayor Duggan uh, for what he's done. My partner, Kim Tandy and Sean Davis, as we work to Ray Solomon for being out here. Uh, and of course, uh, Mr. Tellum, I want to thank you and please give our thanks to uh, Mr. Gore for this because these are the things that we need to move Detroit forward. And for the most part, I have to just commend and thank the Detroit Pistons. Not only, let's give them a round of applause because not only did they come back home to Detroit, but they've also been involved with the projects such as this. It is my understanding that there are 23, Mr. Hellman, is that correct? 23 courts that have been completed. And so therefore, we're looking for more of these courts. But it's very important that not only, I guess I'm a little biased, but also because it's at Palmer Park. But the Palmer Park has been a very, I don't know what to say, fashionable park for many communities for years. And I'm so glad that they are coming out and reaching out. And I also have to thank the Detroit wheelchair, wheelchair Pistons for being out here and just having your presence out here and touching out here. But I, I, again, I want to thank the, the Pistons. I want to thank the Ralph Wilson Jr. Foundation. Because without, as, as Ray Solomon stated, without this collective working relationship, we cannot accomplish these things. And as everybody knows, as this drone is going around us and watching us, as everybody knows that, you know, it is this partnership that helps not only help Detroit move, but Southeast Michigan move forward. So with that, I just want to thank you so much. Thank everyone for being out here. And again, thank you for this project. God bless you. Thank you, Councilman. You know, you talk about don't just talk about it, be about it. That's what you know. this group of leaders behind me is doing. So please, one more round of applause for them for being here today. Thank you. And well, I mean, without further ado, it's time to officially open this amazing court. <laughs> 